Hey, what's up, guys? Tom is back with another Linsense video. Today is Fan Appreciation Day, and we do have a fragrance that was given to me via trade uh, from a fellow frag head. But before I get into that, I have to bring it back just for today because there's a specific fan that asked for it, so it is back. Whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile, maybe you're watching me right now at the Build the Bear uh workshop i think they call it uh maybe you're stuffing that big old polar bear right now with all that stuffing uh maybe the, the the kid of yours is stuffing that bear and you have nothing else to do but to watch that bear uh get pretty much manhandled by that stuffing machine so uh wherever and however you watch me it is an honor if you guys are new to this channel you like what you see hit the subscribe button comment and like likes are very very important now again fan appreciation day we are actually, you know, because I'm uh, kind of like in a given mood this week. Um, I think uh, I've been fortunate to um, get fragrances sent to me and um, to be able to discuss different fragrances with all the rest of you fellow frag heads. And, you know, you come across a couple of people that uh, you meet through these groups and eventually you form like a bond and... You know, you guys become pretty much like Frag Brothers. And uh, this one, uh, this fragrance that I got is actually from a Frag Head brother named Mr. Michael LaRusso. If you've ever seen him on one of the Facebook groups, you guys already know how knowledgeable he is in all the fragrances. Got really good fragrances. You know, the fragrances, some of the fragrances that I've never even seen or even heard of. So uh, the fragrance we're going to be discussing today is a fragrance that I've never heard of. Never even heard of this house, nothing about it. So that's why, again, it is also Frag Appreciation Day. Again, we will have a little giveaway throughout this video. You'll come across maybe a couple discount codes, maybe a couple of these things, maybe a couple of those things. The dog might come in, the wife might come in, and then you'll see a secret word somewhere on the screen. You're going to type that down below is with the words giveaway, and then that secret word, and you will be entered in to the giveaway. And the giveaway... I think it's quite nice. Um, as you guys know, I did a um, review on Sniff Fragrances. So maybe you guys are on the fence about it. Maybe you don't know if you want to buy that full uh, bottle just yet. But I do have two sample sizes right here. I think these are like 10 ml each. So the winner will get both of these. So definitely be on the lookout for that. By the way, that Sniff Fragrance, uh, the Burning Bridges, is actually pretty darn good, you guys. So uh, enough said. Let's get into this one. Again, Mr. Michael LaRusso, thank you for this fragrance. And again, a lot of times me and him, we trade fragrances and we just throw in a few extras just to, you know, just make it worth it. You guys know how much those uh, shipping prices are nowadays. Uh, you got to make it worth it, okay? So this one comes from the house and it's a small, like a small, um, like I guess you would call it a niche. I don't know if it's even a niche house because it's a, it looks like a very small brand so just a very small fragrance brand out there in maryland this one is called mason Diderius and notorieta notorieta okay so like notorious big but notorieta okay so this one right here there you go very nice bottle nice and elegant looking especially if you get like i think there's like 12 different fragrances so if you get these and you put that like you know say like i had that right here looks pretty nice looks actually kind of like these mason alhambra signatures but round form okay very similar okay so vittorieta okay let's get into this one that one's a and try to say that one five times fast vittorieta notorieta kind of a tough one but this is a parfum so we're looking at high oil concentrations here. And again, this is out of Hyattsville, Maryland. So go check that out. They also have a website on the back as well. You probably can't see it, but it is there. And I'll leave that down below as well. So here we go. Let's see what this one is all about. Again, fan appreciation day. Here we go. And the sucky thing about doing these sometimes is... Uh, you take a shower and then now you got uh, the you know the scent from the soap that you use kind of all over the joint. You got some fragrances that you use during the day all over the joint. Babe, would you like to lend a hand? So we'll take her hand in because uh, still smelling the fragrance that I wore this morning here. 
still kind of smell that leather fragrance that I sprayed yesterday. You guys might not think it, but there's definitely some residue of the fragrance that I sprayed yesterday. I don't know if she can smell anything, but I get a little I whiff smell of something. something. It's like a kind of Wooden. minty or something. Hmm. Maybe there's not that much there, but I kind of smell something, so the wife is going to have to take part of this fragrance. Okay, Notoriate, okay? Notice the Apple Watch. Okay, here we go. <laughs> see what this one is all about. Big atomizer. Oh, I guess they would notice the difference because of the nail polish and skin color, not just the Apple Watch. Ooh. <laughs> very, hmm. very seductive fragrance. Uh, very gourmandy, if you will, kind of caramelly. And, and, uh, and I say that because I actually looked at the notes real quick. So it's, you know, I'm not here just trying to, you know, blow smoke up your guys' nose. Oh, I smell caramel. No, no, no. I actually kind of looked at the notes. I'm getting this caramelly, like, candy, like a soft vanilla caramel. And some spice. I did not look at any notes. A few little spices going on there. As you guys can see, the sheen on that, though, is quite... Uh, noticeable. Look at that. I mean, you, you're not going to just be able to wash that off easily. It's kind of got a little darkness to it as well. So you got some like kind of darkness, some resins, a little bit of amber, some vanilla. And you got a little bit of caramel in this. Now, here's the thing. I think that is definitely a feminine fragrance because here's the thing. You know, like I said... In one of my other videos, Vanilla So Sweet, by the way, go check that one out if you haven't. Very good fragrance. The problem with some of these Gourmandi fragrance is that they just don't, you know, when I smell a Gourmandi on a man, it just doesn't scream man, in my opinion. Like, I, I, you know, when you smell a man, you think of the citrusy, the woody, the, the, the barbershop-y type scents like that. But when you start getting into too many of the gourmands, the chocolates, the adding too much vanilla, adding caramel and all this, you know, those are fragrances that smell better on a woman. And I think a woman could rock it because, you know, again, I brought this up before, okay? Let's say you are going on a blind date and you're to meet at the mall, okay? You guys are both walking towards each other, okay? The man is, is smelling like caramel. And chocolate and the woman's just smell like maybe fruits and stuff like that she might just walk right past you because she thinks she's smelling Auntie Anne's pretzels or Mrs. Fields cookies because a man probably should not smell like that in my opinion now again you can wear whatever you want and again I do have a few fragrances that might have those gourmandy things in it but when it comes to gourmandy fragrances I believe they are better off for a woman unless you kind of maybe, maybe you tone down the gourmandi notes, the caramel tones down a little bit. You add maybe a little bit more tobacco or something, and then you get a little bit of the caramel underneath all that. But when you smell just a lot of caramel, the vanillas, again, there's a little bit of darkness in that fragrance as well. A little bit of amber going on in there. But again, it smells good. And I'm assuming that performance is going to last all day. If you've seen the sheen on her hand, there was no indication that that was going to dry up anytime soon. So I can guarantee that that fragrance is going to last all day. And I'm assuming that they are using pretty much the same oil concentrations in all the fragrances. So they were about $55 to $60 for the one ounce, which is right on par with uh, like Dua and some Alexandria's and stuff like that. So, you know, the price I think is justifiable, especially... If the fragrance is lasting long and honestly, I don't think I need to come back with a video or anything to show you that that thing is going to last all day. I have a feeling it is going to last all day. Again, you can tell by the sheen that it was not going anywhere. Okay, so again, a very, very lovely fragrance for a woman, in my opinion, even if it says it's for a man or a woman. Again, it's because everyone can wear whatever they like. But again, as a man... I probably would not wear that unless I layered it with something else. But then again, the problem with that layering is that sweet caramelly vanilla is a little bit too overpowering. So, you know, unless you really want to choke someone out, you already got that on and you spray something masculine, 
now you're just smelling like too much things going on okay so with that being said i like the fragrance i like it on the wife is the wife do you like it again she does like it so again very gourmandy it's a desserty type fragrance okay now again this would be like a cuddle fragrance because you're not gonna wear that smell like you know that into work if you're a lady because then they're gonna think that you brought some kind of donuts in the, the office they might think you brought uh, you are nice enough to bring cookies into the office which in fact you didn't you just smell like cookies so uh with that being said again club style fragrance yes meeting a guy yes all that just not in a work uh setting i probably wouldn't rock that she probably would because she wears whatever she wants to wherever she goes so she would but i personally would not suggest that at work uh again going to meet a nice young man you want to kind of you know smell luscious to him maybe maybe just wearing this for your husband because you want to smell yummy you wear that okay so uh that is that uh notorita okay again fan appreciation day check for that secret word somewhere up on the screen again this is that mason d darius again out there from maryland okay so again thank you mr michael larusa for this one uh this will probably not go up on well you know what i got a few of the the wife's fragrances up here just to kind of like you know make stuff full you know some of the the, the fragrances that kind of match with the theme of the background uh but this one will probably either go behind some stuff or in the her collection somewhere again it is a little bit too gourmandy for me even if I was to add something a little bit more masculine, in my opinion, to this, it would just be a little bit too much in that situation. So, again, Notorita, very good fragrance. This is a parfum. Again, very high oil concentration. Very nice bottle, okay? I'm sorry I don't have the actual, uh, you know, presentation that this thing came in, but it is what it is, okay? So, Mason Diderius, Notorita, Notorita, Notorita. That was a kind of a tough one to say, but uh, Notorieta in the house. I'm in the house. I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. And if you're still over there by that Build the Bear workshop, it means you're getting too many bears. Okay, it should have been done before the end of this video. So if you are there, get out before you end up spending another $40, $50 on stuffed animals. Uh, peace out.